ever worked with. This is Perry. Aww. Perry's a little bit out of our element right now. <laughs> so you're getting to see what a nervous porcupine looks like. We'll talk about our quills later, but kind of get a, if you can see her, get an idea of what her quills look like right now. So Perry is a prehensile tailed porcupine. This type of porcupine is from South America. They're also called a kumindu. You may have heard that about them. Um, they spend all their time, 95% of their time in the trees in South America. So to help her with that, if you notice her tail wrapping around that branch right now, so that's how she keeps her balance up in the trees. A lot of the times she'll actually um, use those front two feet to eat, which you might get to see here in a second, and that way she can free those up but still make sure she stays in the tree. Now if you've ever seen a North American porcupine, you will notice that they do not have tails like this. They have nice flat tails. That is why they fall out of trees very often. So if you see a North American porcupine in a tree, my hint to you is do not stand underneath it because one leading causes the death for them is that they fall out of trees. Perry is our also our most picky animal. She has learned, she has lived with us. How old is she now, Ryan? She's 14. She'll be 14. She came to us when she was just a couple of years old. Perry is smart enough to learn how to play us. So she has learned that she does not have to eat certain foods out here and that we will give her whatever she wants. She like oh, okay, so I don't know if y'all heard that. She is turning down a mushy blueberry, but a hard blueberry is fine. And again, Maria's gonna give her that because it's Perry and we'll do whatever she wants. Get to connect with them on a personal level. Perry was actually a star of one of those episodes because last year, well, 2019, yeah, do that, Perry had a baby. So we kind of, you get to follow along with her whole pregnancy. Push the babies in. Um, she has actually had two babies since she's lived here at Disney's Animal yes. Kingdom. Both of them have moved yeah, on to other yeah, institutions. Yeah, the youngest one yeah. actually just sort of looked big, bad, and scary. So an animal then, if they don't take that warning and they try to bite her, those quills with her adrenaline rush are gonna easily just dislodge her first skin into that animal. She won't, they have to make that contact for them to come out. Now on every single one of those quills, they're pop out, making it very hard for the quills to come back out. That's why you see dogs with quills all over their faces having to go to the vet. It's very hard to get them back out. Now that is true of the North and South American porcupines. It is not true of the Asian and African porcupines. They do not have the quills, I mean the barbs, but their quills are much, much bigger. Dad. What else can I yeah. talk about with Perry? There was something I was thinking about. She does have the most squishable nose in the whole planet. It feels like a toasted marshmallow. Oh, they're babies. We can talk about their babies. So they have the most storable babies. Um, if it is time to give birth, they will actually come to the ground to give birth. They will not give it in the tree. Um, the only time they come to the ground is to give birth or to find a new tree for new food. So when she's down there, she'll give birth to an adorable orange baby. No joke, it is bright orange. Um, they are not born with quills that are hardened. So a lot of moms want to know that. It's basically here when the babies Thank come you. out within 24 hours, those quills will harden up and that baby will be protected. But what is really, really cool is those babies are basically on their own once they are born. Mom, as soon as it's born, is going to leave that baby climb up the tree. Baby has to climb up the tree herself. Oh, we have a question. Is she still sick? Is she what? Is she still sick? Sick. Oh, so on the show, yes. <laughs> so on the show, you also find out that she had something going on with her nose. Um, that we try to treat. So we are, and she's got some skin issues. We are still currently treating that. Um, she gets a nebulizer twice a day. She just sits there very nicely for it to get that humidity for her nose to help with whatever's stuck in her 